again, it's John Neal here. Hello everybody. And I mean everybody. Everybody in the world. I know I'm not speaking to everybody in the world, but you are accessible. We live on one planet. We are one human race on one planet. And I'd like to focus on that unity and yet the intense diversity that we have at the same time and why I think this is very important. Um, this touches on ideas of nationalism and in the country that you're in. We've got nearly 200 different countries in the world, each with their own cultures and languages and foods and so on. So how does it all work together? Well, it must work together because if we don't, we're stumped. The term unity and diversity was adopted by the European Union in the year 2000. Well, about time to, because it was... Uh, quoted in 1938 by the leader of the Baha'i faith then, Shoghi Effendi, as a watchword for the Baha'i faith. Now, I know it's been used before, but really this is a point where it becomes most prominent, I think. And, uh, and towards the end of the 20th century, it became more and more popular, uh, as with uh, the European Union. And lots of other um, organisations use it as their uh, motto. So united in diversity, what are we thinking about? Well, we are one humanity. And because of that, we've, we're living on one planet. And yet we have such diversity as well. There was a very interesting uh, metaphor. And that is flowers in a garden. Let's suppose you've got just one set of flowers in a garden. Like poppies in a field. Which is very nice. Yes, I, I mean, this picture I took, uh, fantastic. But I think it'd be a lot better if there were more flowers in your garden. And so that's what people tend to do, like this. So the more flowers that we have, the more diverse we have, the better it is. Uh, another great example is food. Uh, I've mentioned this before when I was talking about food. We are very fond in this country of our foods. And if we've accepted the immigrants in any way, it's be been because of the foodstuffs that they brought in, Chinese, Indian, Nepalese, Taiwanese, French, German, and American as well. I'll give you that. So we've got to think in bigger terms than just our own existence. And this is where nationalism comes in, because if you say my country, mm, that's it, that doesn't get you very far. Um, I'll say this, Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i Faith, wrote, it's not for him to pride himself who loveth his own country, but rather for him who loveth the whole world. The earth is but one country, and mankind its citizens. We're all in it together. If you, It's all well and good saying, oh, I'm British, or I'm American, or I'm French. and I'm, That's great. Of course it is. Everybody's good with that. But you have to put that subservient to the fact that we are all humans, on one planet. If we don't, we become insular, we become separated, we become divided, and that can end up with problems. So I'd like you to consider, and please comment, if you will, about the idea that the earth is but one country and mankind its citizens. The Baha'i community here in Nuneaton, of which I'm a member, uh, is uh, quite diverse and has been for the last 30 odd years. I've written a list here of the number of types of people that we've had. There's only ever 20 or so of us in this community. It's only a small town anyway. But if I were to read out the list, which I will, are you ready? Here goes. We have had people who, who are British English, me, Hungarian, Iranian, South African, black and white, uh, Slovakian, Zimbabwean, Austrian, Dutch, French, German, and Nepalese. See? The little community we have here has been an example of that diversity and we all worship together as one Baha'i community. Um, we've also, once we were sat for a meal and I said, oh, let's have a count up of all the languages we speak. So um, I raised my hand with one. That was it. And not that one, not particularly well, English. And uh, the others, we started to count up because they speak a number of languages, of which I'm in, in awe. And it turned out to be 20. 20 languages spoken, spoken well too, um, 
by all these different people from different different backgrounds. So as a diverse group of people, I'd like to say that the Baha'i community, not only in Eton but the world over, I think there are uh, over 2,000 different ethnic groups that belong to the worldwide Baha'i community. Um, it's quite um, a spectacular demonstration of the fact that we can be united and yet enjoy the diversity that we have as well. Anyway, that's one to be thinking on. Um, the well-being of mankind, its peace and security are unattainable unless and until its unity is firmly established. Tell me what you think. <laughs>